Hi everyone, Chris from Stone Age Gamer here, and I love the Xbox. I love the original Xbox, the Xbox 360, the Xbox One. Maybe I'll love the series one day if I actually get my hands on one, which I have not done quite yet. But Xbox is great, and it's got a lot of great games on it. But if you've ever been playing your Xbox and wished, I wish I could use my PlayStation controller on this system to play these great games. Well, now you can. The fine folks at Brook have invented this. This is the Wingman XB2. It works on various Xbox platforms, and it lets you use this on your Xbox games. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we are in front of my uh, television and my Xbox 360 up there in the corner. Now, this is usually the part of the video where I do some sort of fancy unboxing, but, well, there's not much to unbox. This is it. This is the Brook adapter, the wingman that we're gonna be plugging into our Xbox over here. Uh, we're gonna start with the Xbox 360. This actually works on original Xbox as well, but you need a special adapter because, well, the original Xbox doesn't have a native USB port. So you get yourself one of those controller to USB cables and you can plug this sucker right in and have a good time with your original Xbox with your modern controllers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this PlayStation 4 controller right here we're going to make it work on my Xbox 360. All we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, USB cable I have here, uh, one in for the PlayStation controller, come on, zoom it, there you go, one for the PlayStation controller and one for the, uh, the wingman itself. Come on, focus, there you go. Oh, this is my Atari one. Eh, this is for my VCS. All right, cool. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and plug the regular USB end right in here. I never get that right on the first try. There we go. The other end is gonna go straight into our PlayStation 4 controller, like so. I, how do I not get this one right? That's, it's even shaped differently on that side. All right, so we're ready to go. We got this here, we got this there. I'm gonna go plug this into my Xbox and we're gonna make some magic, all right? We're gonna watch the magic happen. Now I'm plugging this right into my USB port here, which isn't easy to see, thanks Xbox. There we go, now it's starting to glow. And uh, since it's matched up with this cable here, you can see it's a, uh, there we go. Now it's, it's blue, so we've got our wired connection. And as soon as I yoink this out of here, it's gonna go, oh no, what's going on? And you just press the uh, home button, and it blinks for a second, and boom, there we go. We are now ready to play Xbox 360 with this uh, PlayStation 4 controller. And I am not currently connected to Xbox Live, so, uh, let's just go ahead and jump into some Geometry Wars Evolved, which is probably just going to be the trial version since I'm not connected to the internet with my 360 at the moment. There we go. And let's give it a try. I do not detect any input lag at all. This is, uh, oh boy, I love Geometry Wars. And I don't think I've ever played Geometry Wars on a PlayStation system. I know I played the, uh, the Wii Geometry War games, uh, Wars game, which was really, really good. Uh, but this is the one I spent the most time with, and it just feels like a dream on this PlayStation 4 controller. So there we go. Uh, that is this uh, PS4 controller working wonderfully on an Xbox 360, and I just exploded because uh, well, I wasn't playing the game anymore. So uh, let's go upstairs to my living room and take a look at how this works with an Xbox One. All right, we've got ourselves a little change of scenery here. We're here in my living room now, and there's my Xbox One with the wingman sticking right at the side, and here is our previously synchronized PlayStation 4 controller, and look at that, where we go. We are rocking the uh, Xbox. Let's play a little uh, Disney Afternoon Collection, right? Let's go with some, uh, some DuckTales for NES. And we play, just to give this the old once-over. Nothing like a... Look at that. No button lag at all. That is spot on. Right, that's the plus. That's the start button. Goodness, every game system has their own. Uh, look at that. It works like a charm. Couldn't be happier. Well, I am. I'm Scrooge McDuck. How could I not be happy? Well, there you go. That is the Wingman working on Xbox, Xbox 360, and Xbox One with a PlayStation 4 controller. And uh, this also works on the Xbox Series, although I don't have one of those to test it out with and show it to you, but this is a thing that 100% works, so hooray for that. The Wingman XB2 allows you to play your PlayStation or Switch or other Bluetooth controllers on all of your various Xbox consoles, and it is available at StoneAgeGamer.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked what you saw here today, please follow, comment, like, and subscribe. Let us know down in the comments section what Xbox games you would like to play most with your PlayStation controllers. Me? I uh, would like to play some Super Street Fighter 4 because, well, I love Super Street Fighter 4, and uh, 
I used to play that game with those super, the Street Fighter branded controllers with great D-pads on them. And honestly, PS4's D-pad's pretty darn good. I'd like to give that a shot. But yes, let us know down in the comments what you would like uh, to use a Wingman XB2 converter on. And uh, thanks again for watching. On behalf of all of us here at Stone Age Gamer, keep playing games. Uh, is there, oh, I didn't have it.